In a remarkable study that was done recently, it appears that almost half, 45% to be exact, almost half of teenagers receiving semaglutide, also known as Ozempic, which is a GLP-1 agonist, meaning a glucagon-like peptide 1 agonist, given once per week, have managed to lose sufficient weight to fall below the clinically defined obesity threshold. So this discovery comes from a supplementary analysis of the STEP teens trial, which is an acronym for semaglutide treatment effect in people with obesity. So 45%, that's pretty impressive. Want to know what the number was for those who received the placebo? Only 12%. So only 12% of the teenagers with obesity in this trial who were given a placebo managed to reduce their weight below the obesity benchmark. So what did they do in the study? Well, the researchers were following a 12-week period of lifestyle intervention that included a total of 200 teenagers aged 12 to 18, all of whom were obese. And they were assigned to receive a semaglutide dose of 2.4 milligrams or a placebo. And this was given on a weekly basis for 68 weeks, so a little more than a year. And this was after they did a ramping up of the dose to get to the maximum dose of 2.4 milligrams. So it was a little bit escalating the dose until they reached a maximum of 2.4. So all of the participants were continuously advised about maintaining a healthy diet and they were encouraged to engage in moderate to high intensity physical activity for 60 minutes a day. So both groups, they exercise and they were eating healthy, but the group who received the semaglutide had a much more amount of weight loss. The research also uncovered that an impressive three quarters of the participants were able to lower their BMI by at least one category after taking the drug in comparison to just 19% who were on placebo. So semaglutide effectively reduced weight to a level below clinical obesity for nearly half of the teenagers in the study, which is a feat that has not been accomplished with other treatments except for bariatric surgery. The STEP teens trial is the original study that found that semaglutide aided teenagers in weight loss, which is what led the FDA to approve this drug for use in those who are 12 and older back in January of this year. Obesity management is more than just these drugs like Ozempic, Wegovy, and Manjaro. People, including teenagers, need access to comprehensive health care for effective obesity management. Management entails a chronic care approach focusing on lifestyle. Now, usually once these medications are stopped, the biological processes that fuel obesity, they restart, and this results in the reaccumulation of adipose tissue. So families, they need to have access to long-term treatment options like nutrition therapy or nutritional education, as well as exercise, behavioral support, and sleep therapy or sleep management. And sometimes they need drugs through pharmacotherapy and in rare cases, surgical intervention like bariatric surgery. But with these new medications, it's basically like in terms of its effectiveness, essentially this on the same level as bariatric surgery without the same complications that you get from bariatric surgery. The STEP teens study results are a helpful advancement in treating adolescent obesity and its associated liver function complications. The liver can be thought of as ground zero when it comes to your metabolic health. The health of your liver tells us a lot about your overall metabolic health and degree of insulin resistance. So insulin resistance is at the core of our metabolic health. So when kids and adults, they start developing insulin resistance in the body, it becomes impossible to lose weight. You simply cannot lose weight until you improve your insulin resistance. It's really that simple. It's also not a coincidence that insulin resistance and obesity and fatty liver disease, they're all strongly correlated. That's why these studies are looking at the liver by looking at the AST and the ALT levels, which are biomarkers of liver function. And it's also no coincidence that these weight loss drugs of Ozempic, Wegovy, Manjaro, are improving AST and ALT levels. They're bringing them down. So the secondary analysis of the STEP teens study delved into the impact of semaglutide, specifically at the 2.4 milligram dose on transitioning teenagers from one BMI category to another, including falling below the obesity threshold into overweight or normal weight categories. Now there's a lot to unpack with all of these GLP-1 agonists. So if you wanna learn more on how they affect the body, Definitely check out this video right here.